We came after you that night, but we were too late. A Missouri community gives an emotional goodbye to a fallen hero. Officer Ryan Morton was laid to rest today after being shot and killed in the line of duty. KCTV 5's Rudy Harper is live with a look at how the support for him reached well beyond his local brothers in blue. Rudy. That's right, Brad. Tonight, Kansas City police officers are returning home from Officer Morton's funeral there in Clinton. In fact, law enforcement officers from around the country were there tonight to grieve with the Clinton community. For 10 miles, hundreds of law enforcement officers escorted the body of slain Clinton police officer Ryan Morton. Mourners lined the streets to pay their final respects. These officers are our friends, our neighbors, and our family. If you don't tear up today, something's wrong with you. Ryan's sacrifice, remembered today by Missouri Governor Eric Greitens. He was a role model and a leader, a good man. The 30-year-old is a second Clinton police officer to die in the line of duty in less than a year. He was a reserve officer and went back to full time a month after Clinton police officer Gary Michael was shot and killed after a traffic stop. Find Gary and wait for us, brother. We will come, we will not quit. Ryan was a man of service. Ryan also served two tours in Afghanistan with the U.S. Army. He worked as a radio communications manager and maintained all military bridges in multiple regional commands. As I look at this gathering and think about it, I imagine that Ryan would have thought this is a little bit too much because he didn't do things for recognition. He did it because it was his character, because it was his nature. Governor Greitens has ordered flags at half staff until Friday. Officer Morton was buried in Nomnoster, Missouri, where he grew up. Live in Kansas City, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News.